Today we're battling it out in the Hunger Games doctor style. We're gonna get to our final challenge in just a bit, but a special chef friend of the show has a bonus game right now, and apparently this one's for me. Please welcome Iron Chef and co-host of Bravo's Around the World and 80 Plates, Kat Cora, to the show. And, and so I, I'm assuming that what you have here has something to do with the theme of Hunger Games, but you traveled all around the world. Yep, I sure did. And I understand that yep. you have brought these, what shall I use the word, exotic? Unique, exotic. They are scary? A little scary, a little scary, but unique, exotic. A lot of people probably haven't heard of them, uh, but they are things that are packed with lots of protein, are low fat, low calorie, a lot of vitamins, and you're and gonna you want love me to it. eat these? Can I get some help Are you help up for the challenge? Here? You can get can, some help. If I can get a little I'm, bit of help. I need a couple of audience volunteers who want to help me in this taste test game. You want to come on up? And you come, come on up. All right. Brave, All right, brave so, souls. All right. What's your name? Vicky. Vicky and? Hey, Vicky. Carrie. Carrie, how are you? Carrie, how are you? Hi. All right, so I'm just part of this right now. I have no idea what we're about to do. So Kat, please take care of us. What are we doing here? What, what, what do we got? Well, the key to this yeah. the key to this game is actually diagnosing the spoon. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a taste. Okay. Okay? Try to guess what's on the spoon. Diagnose the spoon and then see if you know. And once you've tasted it, I'm going to let you know what it is. All right. Let's try it. This okay, looks crunchy. Go ahead. Just look. Black beans. <laughs> oh, like right. <laughs> oh, I don't like beans. <laughs> These aren't uh, that bad. I kind of like no, this one. No, it's kind of like that one. Or it's like no, a, you need something. Wait, right here, here. here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely crunchy. I like that one. That, no, one. that okay. is. Beans. You like that? Yeah. Maybe, Maybe onion. onion. Crunk here. So I diagnose the like spoon. <laughs> onion. Travis, Maybe. your doctor. Can you do that? Can I diagnose the spoon? Liver? Burn. Wrong. What I'm going to tell you this is, definitely Mexico. Yeah. You get that from the look of it, the tortilla. Yeah. This is actually a corn smut quesadilla. Corn smut? Corn smut. What is that? Basically, pustules on the corn cob. <laughs> Somebody's going, oh. Geez. Pustules on the corn cob actually bubble up, and they break through the husk and actually grow a fungus on the corn. <laughs> Okay. But so, what that allows the corn to do is, that's taken off. What that allows the corn to do is to grow new, new nutrients in the corn. Okay. And basically those nutrients, it's basically full of lysine. And lysine we absolutely mm. need. It's an essential amino acid mm -hmm. that our body needs but doesn't make. So this is something that's really great for your diet. Let's Amazing. move on. This is our yeah. last diagnosis. It is. Ladies. It is. I just, ready, ready. I'm just right. so fearful Here we of go. this. Well, this looks simple enough. It looks like a burnt cookie. Yeah. <laughs> Just think it's of it cookie. like a burnt cookie. <laughs> exactly. That wasn't bad. Right. Not bad? No, that's okay. not bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Di you need diagnosis really spoon. Half of it. <laughs> I'm not going to reveal yet, but I would s Ladies, do you have a guess? You have a guess? Mm -hmm. Some kind of meat, right? It, it tastes is. like hash. It tastes like corned like beef and it. hash. Okay, okay. you're getting mm. close. There is some beef somewhere in there. And reveal. Hey. This I is still... blood sausage. Blood sausage, otherwise also known as blood pudding. Now this is from Germany, and basically what this is is pork meat that's been taken and put together with blood, gelatin, and spices. They take the blood, they mix it with the gelatin, they boil it down and congeal it, and then add it in there. Now what this is is low carb, high protein, so if you're a meat lover, this is perfect for your diet. And the um, takeaway, it sounds like, is there are just so many things we can learn from yep. other cultures, things we can mm -hmm. add to our foods. Instead of maybe frying food all the time, trying some of these spices, mixing it up. Vicki, Carey, <laughs> Kat, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for that great thank education. You. Absolutely. And we do have more information at thedoctorstv.com as far as Kat's hunger relief charity, Chefs for Humanity, which is aimed to reduce hunger worldwide. And Kat actually has one more surprise for us. Everyone in the audience is going home with heart-healthy olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and olives from Kat Cora's Kitchen by Gaia. The proceeds from these products actually benefit the fight against hunger. Spread the word. Thank you so very much.